here today to answer the pleas of those crying for justice and crying for help for those people in Chicago and other cities where we'll be. Help is on its way. President Trump earlier this week promising to help Chicago as violence continues to surge. Now the Department of Justice is announcing their first federal arrest in the city as part of the administration's Operation Legend. Here to react, former acting attorney general and author of Above the Law, Matthew Whitaker. Matt, welcome to the show as always. Thanks for being okay. here. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of these arrests, which in particular were for illegal firearm possession and what the goal of Operation Legend should be? Yeah, this is what obviously the Department of Justice does the best, and that is, is to work uh, collaboratively with local uh, and state law enforcement in Chicago, Cleveland, Kansas City, Albuquerque, and other cities where this Operation Legend is happening to reduce gun crimes and violent crimes in our major cities. And this is something uh, that we've partnered for a long time uh, during this administration. Uh, to, to end violent crime, and obviously uh, we can't have the types of senseless killings like the operation is named after. Legend who died, a four-year-old in Kansas City, uh, from a gunshot wound in, in his, while sleeping in his own bed. So, I mean, these are, these are important, uh, and it's good to get additional law enforcement resources to work on these violent crimes. What do you say to those people who are concerned about a, a potential heavy hand of the federal government being involved and them potentially stepping on the feet of local law enforcement and how to balance that role between local officials and federal officials? Yeah, I, I don't see that as a legitimate argument, Jed. And what I would say to those folks is you don't understand how the federal law enforcement uh, agencies like ATF, FBI, DEA, and the U.S. Marshals work in our major cities already with these task force that work hand in hand with local law enforcement to help and support and plus up their resources. And so what I see happening, what the president is rightfully doing, is sending additional resources to work on these task forces that are already in place to reduce violent crime. And I think it's going to make a major difference, and I think these arrests in Chicago are a good first step. Matt, these, these images that we're seeing are terrifying. I mean, people who live in these communities and, frankly, other communities that feel that their community may be next are scared to death for themselves, their families, their businesses. Is there any message of reassurance that can come through uh, in terms of getting this situation under control? Because it seems as though these situations like we saw in Seattle can go on for a very, very long time. Yeah, Americans all over our country and especially in our major cities like Chicago and Kansas City and elsewhere want to be able to have their children play in their front yard no matter what neighborhood they live in. And the president is sending additional law enforcement resources to work with local law enforcement to reduce these drive-by shootings, to, to get these trigger pullers and to lock them up because no one wants these people loose in their communities that are just spraying bullets into yeah. crowds hoping to uh, you know, hit a target. I think, it's, I think it's a great step and I think it will reduce violent crime in these major cities. Matt Whitaker, thanks so much for being here. Important insight, as always. Thanks, we appreciate Jed. it.